every year, thousands of you head to Jarrettsville for the sunflowers. And this year, we had to we had to wait a little bit. But you're not going to have to wait much longer. The sunflowers are finally starting to bloom. It's a big one here. WMAR 2 News, Eric Taylor. This is your second time out there, back in Jarrettsville, checking out the sunflowers. Yeah, and it's finally underway. Now, the field is about a quarter or so bloomed, and it looks like as we head off into the weekend, it's going to get much better, and it could be actually extended into the next two weeks. Now, we had a lot of rain in July, a record-breaking July, over 16 inches of rain in many locations, and a record-breaking September, the third wettest on record. The gates, though, finally open today at 3 o'clock on what looks to be a new year full of sunflower memories. Sunflower selfie seekers, this is the weekend that you've been waiting for. Oh my goodness, the gates to the sunflowers of Jarrettsville are now open to the beauty, the flowers, and of course, the photo ops. We were going to open on Sunday, and now it's been delayed until today. But as you can see, they're blooming and it's happening. We're supposed to have a perfect weekend coming up in the next week. Every year, people flock to this gorgeous destination to see what all the fuss is about. The, the crowds are always overwhelming. They come from up and down the East Coast. We've had people stop and say they've come from New York, D.C., Virginia, Delaware, Pennsylvania. Of course, it's all about the flowers, which look absolutely stunning this year despite being replanted after a very wet summer, which led to flooded fields and rotted seeds during much of the month of July. Perfect sunflower is the one that looks like a happy little face standing out there in the field. Picture after picture and even a proposal or two amidst all of that yellow. Nancy Rose and her crew are at it again with another special bloom which looks to create a whole array of new memories for young and old alike. People just love it. They, they will bring all kinds of props which is kind of tickling to us that they will carry ladders out of their car and they'll bring wagons with pumpkins in it and to get the perfect picture. Besides the flowers, the donations raised to view them will go to local charities and businesses within the community. A hundred percent of those proceeds go to the mission project that is the sunflowers in Jarrettsville. And then when the sunflowers are done blooming and the season's over, Everybody from the local churches sits down and they decide where there, where there is need, whether it's local and beyond, and that's where the money goes. So come on out and support the cause, and of course, snap a great picture for that profile page. The field is right off of US 23 and Norrisville Road in Jarrettsville. Viewing times can be found on the Sunflowers of Jarrettsville Facebook page. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. And besides the sunflowers, of course, there's a lot of businesses there from the pharmacy, which actually sells T-shirts that have Jarrettsville mm -hmm. sunflowers, the license plate with the Maryland flag and the sunflower through it. Also, the ice creamery that's right down the street and even Griswold Farms, which sells great produce. So there's a lot to do in that area besides the sunflowers. And they have a big old parking area that will not disrupt traffic or business that you can pull in. Of course, you give them a donation of $5 if they use that within the community or even afar outside of the community and a great weekend to do so. so because, nice little family outing. Yeah, nice little family outing and great weather actually to get that bloom going because we haven't had all of the heat with just sunshine. We've had the heat with rain time and time again. And what Mike Taylor hinted to, this is called October out there as we continue on. Temperatures tomorrow could actually be near record breaking levels in Baltimore. We could touch 90 degrees. The record is 92 back in 1954. We'll go for a little bit of a dip here going into Friday and Saturday. And then we're right back into the thick of the heat here, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. The average high this time of year, by the way, is 71 degrees and we are way above that but no complaints there 84 degrees today 71 is the normal 92 the record back in 1919 no rainfall in the bucket and really no rainfall last night as we dodged a lot of severe weather across the area blue skies and sunshine just some high cirrus wispy cirrus clouds above us in middle river and right now 81 degrees a northerly breeze though makes it feel quite comfortable this evening at nine miles per hour and that continues to drop off. That humidity off to the north, our friends up there in Jarrettsville, 75 degrees, 76 right now in Bel Air, 77 in Edgewood, 80 in Dundalk, 81 in Glen Burnie. A wider view shows the warmth even out over the mountains, 80 degrees in Hagerstown and down at the beach, a pleasant day to be out on the boards or even the sand this evening at 77 there in Ocean City. The wide view though over much of the country 
we are actually dealing with the heat. There's a warm front well off to our north. All the cold air is behind that frontal boundary, and it's also behind the cold front back towards the west. 30s up in Canada, but 90 at the Big Arch in St. Louis. And playoff baseball in many locations across the central part of the country, eastern two-thirds of the country. The ball is really flying out of the ballpark based upon all of that heat and humidity. And the cause for that is this warm front. And this front yesterday was responsible for a lot of severe weather across portions of Pennsylvania. Over six to seven tornado reports yesterday out that way, creating a lot of damage. High pressure and control to the south. That front today producing severe weather up towards Wisconsin. Luckily, we're not going to see any of that, but eventually that front will come back tomorrow and it will give us a chance at a few isolated showers or thunderstorms in the evening. But once again, not looking at really any severe weather. Temperatures will get close to 90 in the afternoon. The showers and thunderstorms will move in around dinner time. They will carry us through the early evening hours and then things will fade pretty quickly as the wind direction changes once again out of the north, bringing in the cooler and stabler air at least for two days. And then we're right back into the heat again beyond the seven day forecast going into next week. So let's enjoy what we got tonight. Upper 50s and lower 60s tomorrow. Patchy fog, but another beautiful day with the storms arriving late. Cool down Friday and Saturday, then more of that summer like heat Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday with tons of sunshine next week. All right.